Hey folks, it's IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is World of Tanks winner. And he is in his Object 277. This is a tier 10 game on Fjords. And it's a pure, purely tier 10. Why do you have Pinox on? <laughs> I've, I've recorded this opening introduction three times so far. That's the first time I noticed the Minox. Interesting. Uh, the first time the reticle wouldn't go, and the second time oh, things went sideways. So, yeah. Hopefully, this time everything goes as it should. We have a reticle! We're already doing better than it was earlier. Okay, so um, this is a great tier 10 tank if you're looking for a great brawler uh, with decent armor and a uh, a, you know, a not bad gun. And it's also got enough speed on it that you can get into some places that normally only medium tanks as access um, at the start of a battle. And so I have a couple friends who like to get this thing into those medium tank places and then brawl with the medium tanks. And of course, if you're in a heavy tank, brawling with medium tanks, you have a severe advantage in the fact that you have armor. And they generally don't have as nearly as much armor. That uh, 60 TP just learned that lesson. As he dumped a shot into our armor and we dumped one into his soft underbelly. Oh, thanks, Ye Yegzoa. You realize you're taller than that rock, right? Because... Oh, he's going to take advantage of this. Oh, I thought he was going to... He's not going... Whoops. Uh, he's not going where I thought he was going to go. Sorry for that phone call, by the way. I thought he was going to go and push up here. No, he's going this way, pushing on the Super Conqueror, who probably has no idea he's made this move. Because Super Conqueror is just doing with the object, and is like, I can get one more shot in. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> there's an object in front of him. It's not a UFO. Bat Chat is, uh, well, bing shots off of our turret. Uh, the will continue to do that as long as we're facing somewhere in his general direction. That's that grill that we were fighting down below. He apparently has made his way all the way up top so he can continue to not shoot us. <laughs> that bat chat is still being annoying and still bouncing shots off of us. One grill dies, two grills die. We're about to find that bat chat. Oh! Hello, object. Thank you for the side armor shot. Oh, unfortunately, the object is the first one to put one into us. Where did he get that shot in? Oh, right through next to our turret, and that's because it's a heat shell. He was looking for the flat uh, turret armor right next to the gun. Wait, did I say right next to the turret? That was that first bit. There's an STRV, and hey, look, the bat chat. Are we able to... Wow, that snapshot. That was a nice snapshot. <sighs> Looking for the uh, the object again. He's using this wreck as, for as much cover as possible. Shooting between the gun and the tracks of, of the thing in order to, well, basically have as much between the enemy and himself as possible. He has 3,000 damage. And some spine damage included. Or without including the spine damage he's got. Who who thinks he can do a lot better than that? Cause I do. Oh, this STRV is about to go down, doesn't even know it. Oh, unfortunately we fired the shot after the TVP took him out. So all that does is waste a round of ammo. And I mean obviously it makes our stats worse, but really we don't really care about that so much. Destroying the object from forty frees up up to move, however, Notice the teams. Our team is... I was going to say losing. Technically, we're not losing. We're not winning. But we're in a really spread out, weird formation that's going to start us losing if we're not really careful. Um, that bat chat could be anywhere. I mean, he could literally be over there hiding, reloading a clip, waiting for us to push past, and then hoping to empty a clip into our back. Um, he could be over there with his friends. Um, good lord. <laughs> that E5 just bit a large bullet. Hey, look, there's the bat chat. In a really 
not amazing spot where, yeah, I personally would have tried to hide over here somewhere. Um, you could have double bushed up and then just shot these guys as they were uh, passing this way. Because, of course, who and of course, it would be somewhere where you could guard the cap, it would also give you spine damage for anybody dumb enough to walk into crossfire of, of allies. It's so not a bad spot in this kind of situation where, you know, everybody's just kind of everywhere. Ooh, the object 430U comes out to challenge us and gets shot in, <laughs> well, the process. Unfortunately, though, we, well, actually, no, we're winning, technically, aren't we? It's hard to tell right now, seeing as that I can just see a lot more purple on the map than I can see green. I think that's because all the green is underneath the purple. Though currently we're getting shot in the back by <laughs> um, LT-100, which is a problem because, well, he will kill us if we let him. That thing does actually a lot more damage than you might think it does. TVP going in for the kill, and we're going to take advantage of that distraction and get a little bit more damage off. Unfortunately for the TVP, he didn't quite do that as smoothly as he wanted to, and we actually take another shot. Uh... Maybe intended for the TVP. Either way, it did connect with us. And that shell didn't connect where we wanted it to. And the teams are almost back to being even. Uh, with a 60 TP coming up to challenge us. Going to have to fall back a little bit. If the TVP is not extremely careful, he's just going to get one shot right about here. No, 60 TP flubs the shot on us. And he goes down. At type 5 is actually probably the cause of a lot of our, uh, our team's problems right now. But um, that's okay. The LT100 just refuses to die up there. We're actually going to go and hunt him down right now. With 7,000 damage, we're pushing up this hill. We're going to have to go up and over this guy. No? Yeah, there we go. Nope, maybe not. I'm going to have to push the, him out of the way. Oh! What was that? I wish I'd been paying attention. Like, I had the camera focused up here. I didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs> what? Why? Wow. Obviously, he was trying to get a kill. Um, he was trying to. Wow. I don't. I don't get that. He was trying to get the the instant, you know, kill. Um, but if he had just stayed up there, I'm sure he would have got shots. On the grill or the the TVP. I guess we were practice by him, weren't we? Maybe up there wasn't the best place to be right now. Huh. And did not see that coming, but it was glorious. That was awesome. Okay, let's jump over and see what he earned for this awesome battle. Master badge, first class, spotter, shellproof, fire perfect, 21 bonds. <laughs> wow. Steel wall and high caliber in a tier 10 game will do that. He made 100,000 credits to start with. Let's see how much he had left by the end. 7,000 damage for his game. What a way to kick off a week. And he platooned up with the TVP at the end of that. Um, so I don't know if they went on to platoon up together. There's certainly no reason. Wait. What? At the end of the game, it said he had three kills. And then we had two apiece down here. Did he maybe kill the LT-100 after it landed on us? Or was it, or was there someone else still alive in that game? There was a Type 5 still alive in that game, wasn't there? And we left before that. That died, didn't we? Oopsies. Well, I may have made a slight mistake. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. Well done, sir. Actually, 
made nice, tiny sum, considering this is a tier 10 game, and he had to fight firing some gold. Um, well done overall. This was a truly awesome game. Why do you have binoculars on this thing? Just, just out of curiosity. And, um, I can't wait to see your next one, sir. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IOE throughout.